Hi, welcome to Dit Dot. My name's Amanda, and today I'm excited to do another product review. So anybody who's been on my channel for a while knows that I love Tyneco. I have two Tyneco products. The first is an all-in-one vacuum mop called the Floor One S3, and the other is a cordless vacuum by Tyneco. That is the A11 EX, and I will link down below the two reviews I have on that. Those were non-sponsored. I bought the vacuums myself. And then I saw on Tyneco's website, they had a spot if you wanted to sign up to be a product reviewer, which y'all know I love doing these product review videos. So I said, yes. And they said they were going to send a kitchen gadget. So I didn't know what I was going to get. So I was super excited when this showed up and I've got this like really awesome, fancy looking toaster. Um, I don't own a toaster. I have a toaster oven, which I have a love hate relationship with. So I'll go into uh, that a little bit later, but this toaster promises to, you know, look really good. If it's anything like the Tyneco products that I already own, then I can only expect really good things from it. Now, I will say that this is a non-paid video. I'm not getting paid to do this. They just sent me the toaster to review. So let's open it up and see what we got. Well, first off, just for the box, it is the Tyneco Toasty one. And oh my gosh, that name is just already super adorable. And it is a smart toaster that detects the thickness and softness of the bread and will automatically toast to the desired level for every slice. And from what I've already heard in early reviews, that if two people in your family want different level of doneness on their toast, you can do two different donenesses at the same time. So I bought some different things for us to try out. So we'll try out some of those. And I've got some frozen waffles and some toaster strudels. And so um, when you open it up, the first thing you're gonna see is this quick start guide. So it basically just shows that you've got toaster slots, the housing of the unit, where your power button is, the removable crumb tray for easy removal or for easy cleanup. This does have a touch screen, so I'm curious to see how well that works. And then it comes with a cleaning tool, which with my other Tyneco products, they're all so incredibly easy to clean. And then a super quick maintenance guide showing how to remove the tray and then using the little tool to clean things up. So we have the instruction manual, which I will look at and read so that you don't have to. Here is our cleaning tool. Nice stiff bristles. And on this end, it's kind of nice and thin, so I wonder if that'll be useful. And then here's our beautiful toaster. I mean, I can't see it yet. I just know Tyneco does a really well job on making pretty products. Oh my gosh, it's so shiny. Okay, let me readjust my camera so we can look at this closer. And that is everything that comes in the box. I mean, even this that they wrapped it in, it's just super soft. Like, it just... The attention to detail that Tyneco has in their products just continues to amaze me. I mean, it's not cloth, but it's, I mean, it actually is some sort of cloth, but it's just above and beyond, I think. Okay, so I just wanted to show you, take a closer look at it. So on the top with the chrome, it's got a little symbol showing that the chrome is going to get hot. And then here is our touch screen. Here's our removable crumb tray that just slides in and out really easy. It kind of clicks in and out. And then, I mean, it's just really nice. This is gonna look good on a countertop. 
and on the bottom it's got little prongs here so that you can wrap the cord to have it as long as you need so you don't have extra cord on your countertop and then there's a slot here for it to sit go through so it doesn't sit up okay so i'm going to go ahead and plug this in because the instructions right away say to plug it in and run it once um, without any toast in it so when you plug it in i'm going to turn on the power button which is right underneath the smart screen and there's a little paper on here so i'm going to go ahead and remove that and it says mode description there's smart mode customize your taste by adjusting the browning level slider or there's manual mode where you can select your exact toaster level and hit got it okay the touch screen is super responsive and so here you have your smart mode your manual manual or settings so we'll see what settings are in a minute but so you can set your left and your right toast individually and it looks like there's a spot to favorite so i'm going to see as you slide this over you can go from very light to um for those people who like their toast almost burnt so i'm just going to put it right here in the middle and hit start right now just because it said to go ahead and oh wait i want to do well okay i'm gonna do one side i guess once you start one you can't start another one in the middle it looks like so if you get to the toaster oven first and your spouse doesn't get there they can't add their toast in so when i hit that it kind of closed up and you can see the red heat elements lighting up <laughs> okay so since it is a toaster so i ran it through the one cycle it get asked said that you should do and it said that there might be a slight odor there was it wasn't bad like you know a lot of times when you have a new oven or something there's like a slight odor um I didn't really even notice that much. The outside casing is cool to the touch. Um, as you get up higher here, it is warmer. And this is the side that I set the toast to, so it's definitely warm and this side isn't. Okay, so <laughs> since it is a toaster, I figure we'll just start with toast. Now, it is supposed to be able to detect the thickness of your bread and toast accordingly. So this is just a kind of light wheat bread. And I'm gonna go ahead and put one on each side. And then we're gonna see, oh, how do we wake it up? Oh yeah, I forgot. So like there's a power button down here. <laughs> so, okay, it's reminding me of that again. I hope it doesn't do that every time. Okay, so in the settings, you can manage your toaster slots. So you can say you want to do them separately. Like if you just want one piece of toast and you know your partner wants a different um, setting or you can do two and have them be exact. So I'm going to go ahead and do the two and go back to my smart toast. And then like I'm going to go ahead and pick my exact level preference. And I think that's really cool. That graphic there that shows exactly how dark you want your toast. And we'll see how accurate we think it is. Let's see. Let me see, zoom in so you can see that. I don't know if it showed it in the last clip. So you can see exactly how dark or light it gets. So I'm going to go for you know, kind of a medium toast. You hit start, then you can favorite it. And there's little icons here so you can pick which family member looks like you the most. I don't know, I'm just gonna pick that one and then hit confirm. So now next time, if I really like that darkness of toast, I can pick out my little icon and then just go for it and don't have to wait. And then it's counting down how much percentage time left. So let me zoom in on that. So it's toasting 15%, 16, like that. So one thing that I'm excited to have a standalone toaster versus a toaster oven. A toaster oven can be more versatile because I can cook chicken breast and vegetables in it and things like that. But the one thing that my toaster oven actually isn't very good at is toasting just isn't. It takes forever. When I put a piece of bread in there, that toaster oven, it takes so long to toast and it doesn't even get like, I always give up. I, I never have that toast that crispy that I actually want. 
because I get tired of waiting for it. So having a dedicated toaster where the thing that it does best is the thing it does is means that you're actually gonna get toast you want. So it's halfway done, but it's already 60% and it's been less than, you know, a minute where my toaster oven seriously takes like eight minutes to toast a piece of toast. So again, if, <laughs> if you want a product review, I should do that KitchenAid toaster oven. I do not recommend, do not like that KitchenAid toaster oven. And I know KitchenAid is now probably never going to be a sponsor of mine, but it's beautiful. Hey, let me show it to you. I'm pointing to it. Oh, did you hear the bell that it rang? Oh, oh, and it just rose the toast up. Ah, oh, I missed that. Very nice. You don't have that big clunky handle on the side that you're trying to fight, but you can cancel it in the middle if you want to end your toast faster. Anyway, here's my KitchenAid. I love that it's cobalt blue, but it is, I've pretty much not liked it ever since the first time I got it. Okay, now let's evaluate our toast. And you can't have toast without butter. Oh, butter on top. One thing it's supposed to do really well is toast the outside and keep the inside just nice and fluffy, fresh, toasty bread. So it's warm enough to melt my butter. So that is a major pet peeve of mine too when toast doesn't actually get warm enough to melt your butter. Mm. Perfect. This is exactly how I like my toast. <laughs> like seriously, this color of darkness. And my toaster oven takes like eight minutes to get this done. That took less than two. So that's a win. All right, hey, well, editing Amanda here. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video short because I, was, I realized that the rest that I filmed doesn't really provide any extra value to you, my viewers. I did go ahead and toast some frozen waffles and some uh, frozen toaster strudels. All I need to note about that is there's a button for frozen foods. Other than that, it's the same. So, you know, the showing you how it toast a frozen waffle over a piece of toast is about the same. But I did want to go ahead and summarize my final thoughts on the toasty one. One, I still absolutely adore the name toasty one. I don't know why it just hits me in the, the warm fuzzy feels. But secondly, it's a very expensive toaster. There's no uh, if, ands, or buts about it. It ranges right now in the $350 price range. So keep that in mind. If you are somebody who is a toast connoisseur and you like your toast a specific way and you have the budget for a, a kitchen appliance of this caliber, by all means, I do recommend it. It is a very nice toaster. The touchscreen works really well. I do hope that in the future they would make it accessible to blind and low vision people because keep in mind, anybody who cannot see cannot use touch screen. So they have to have apps that go with so that the app can be accessible. But you know, that's a whole different thing. I'm just a very much an inclusion advocate. It is very nice. The touch screen works very well. The fact that you can save family profiles and just make your toast really quickly in the morning and not have to like, mess with, you know, remembering exactly how dark or light you wanted your toast. You know, it's just, it's a super nice convenient feature. It is an expensive toaster and it looks expensive. It is going to look very stylish on your kitchen counter. So if that is something that's important to you, then I think that this toaster just looks sleek and very high end. So that's my final thoughts on this toaster. If it's in your budget, it's an amazing toaster. If $350 for a toaster is out of your reach, then maybe pass it up. If you are interested in buying the Toasty One from Tyneco, then I will link down below an Amazon link. I get an Amazon like couple commission. I'm not working with Tyneco. They sent me the product for free, but I'm not getting paid to review this. And I don't get any kind of, um, sales from Tyneco if I sell units. I am just wanting to make sure that I review this product fairly. And like I said, it is a very good toaster. 
And I love Tyneco. I, the two products that I bought, the Smart One vacuum and the Hero X3 vacuum, I absolutely love these products. And so when they sent me the toaster, I was pretty sure it was gonna be the same quality as their vacuums and I was not disappointed. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you hit subscribe because I do lots of cooking videos and product review videos. And until the next one, bye guys.